Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. I am your host, Fabio Suave. <laughs> what kind of emote is that, Chompley? <laughs> oh, Coca Mexico is good, yes. I agree. Coca Cola. <laughs> Bottled in Mexico. Mm. Es muy delicioso. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Chompley. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what a cold open to this episode. Thank you for that. Anyway, this is The Wolf Among Us. We're playing as the big bad wolf who's a crime detective. There's some shit going on in New York City and all these undercover fables that are hiding from the real world are in trouble from a serial killer that's of their own kind. We are on, yep, episode three, A Crooked Mile. Interesting. Oh, that's right. I remember where we left off. It'll, it'll catch us up. Just watch. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. She's alive. Because at the end of the I first episode, she was dead. I almost lost you once. And... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. Looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? It's... <gasps> it's... Crane. So, to elaborate, this dude that we work for he has been hiring a stripper to transform into his assistant, who's Snow White. And he, in, that, in that room, he played out the sick, perverted fantasy of waking her with a true love's kiss and then fucking murdered her. I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Yeah, this is Telltale. Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Vicky, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Pictures, dude. Shit! Crane, Finn. Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. The trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Shit. Bigby! This is all happening so fast. Wait. What, Beauty? That was Beauty and the Beast back there, by the way. What? Snow's... Uh, Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Yeah, Just obviously. That. Nah, bro. That's her business. If some dude is making a glamour for someone else to shapeshift into her for sexual purposes she needs to know without a doubt and just like that we completed chapter one let me tell some of the homies to hop on stream while this is happening Never mind, I gotta get there. You should let everyone know. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If 
you're here, then you were part of a Don't very interrupt. special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that, that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about... Now you will never die from so indifference or you. lead a tedious life. Of her. Goodbye, sweetheart. She could be stubborn Thanks for and everything. Patient. Vivian. Rash and thoughtful. Though she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um, pageantry. I'll miss worrying about and most you. Of all, I'll miss our fights. I'll miss Lily you. Loved, I'll dearly loved that one was from her sister. She loved being around me in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but you were um, a big, bright, shining told, star. I know in, in my heart shit hole of a that town. she would have liked to be here. I miss you already. And now we'll Rain. have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. <sighs> Bigby, is everything okay? No, it no, is not, not okay. You. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Look, Holly, I'm not here to start trouble. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. I didn't do after shit. After you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Listen, I'm we gotta talk about Crane. Crane. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, Listen. what do you know? We actually agree on something. Listen, Bigby can we cares, stop the shit? He's trying to help. Yeah, they're and all I'm fairy sure tales. He has a very good reason for being here. We're the, one, we're the big bad here. wolf. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Stop oh, pussyfooting! Really? Yes, Holly, this is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony. Us. Right? The big bad wolf. Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Blah, blah, blah. I'm Don't sorry your sister got me. killed. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Yeah. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. It's crazy how Let's none of them know away. what they're doing either. It's your turn to talk. This one girl, she's got like millions of followers and like a lot of followers on Twitch too because she just started. Literally can't even run her own stream. She's lagging because her bitrate's too high, but still uh, streams at 720p. Important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is, I don't even know what to say right now. I no. really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it, to not picture him. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. I've got to show her this shit. Not? She it needs to understand the severity. Snow, listen. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow, 
Marissa, what is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I get it. Just take your, take time. your time. It won't take long. Do big TikTokers? No, a lot of them are really nice. I'm friends with a few that have, like, way more followers than me. Tell. Did you find anything? Uh... No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Yeah, um... It Marissa. depends entirely. Yeah, um... Coming! Like, honestly, if you have a big ego because of TikTok of all things, like... We gotta get you a life. Kill the girl? Kill what girl? Uh oh. God damn it, dude. It's Tweedledee and Tweedledum. First thing in a visit, you say, How do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jagoffs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? To click slow, that's awesome. Congrats. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No, see now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? You shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Yeah, about that. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. I'm gonna stay out of this. Yeah, listen to your lady love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Oh, yeah, I'm, let's spare I'm gonna let this us. happen. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Kill him. I got it done. Oh, come on. Ow, shit. Did they really just get away? She's dead. We're gonna get the, the D-Twins now. Those guys are so infuriating, I swear. But the story is great.
That'll work. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Nikki, uh. Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Ow. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Let me try to. All right then, very good. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. And then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Does that about cover it? Once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror it's all we have right now what the hell is going on way too much Just, i don't know what the tweedles get out of this i don't know if crane sent them i don't know if i mean this is gonna sound crazy but do you really think crane did it yes Everything of course to him i get it but do you really think he killed those women because it's just from what i saw at the open arms everything points to crane murdering lily what isn't adding up for me is fate. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? What's up? It's kind of personal. Uh-huh. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending fuck no i don't enjoy it are you kidding me it's horrible what happened tonight i wish it didn't happen i shouldn't have said anything but no it's okay did. it's okay uh guys <gasps> we have a problem what's what going it? on i can't finish the mirror it's missing a piece what do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. 
Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buckin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind, Mac. Come help me look. Any updates on the funding I requested? Explained in the last letter the conditions to go some improvement. Sure, if you're busy, Waylon Smith, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Oh, well, there's his room key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. A bloodbath. I want to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, no. Snow, that's terrible. <sighs> Again, that you send someone to fix the air conditioning on a unit. Blah, 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 it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Mr. Crane said you'd have to, the plaster redone in the building after the last incident. It's falling off the walls. Please fix it. Can't rent out room. Uh, it's already fixed. <laughs> Get your shit together. Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Locked. Ooh. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not obtained in the armory is assigned to someone in Cable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, new glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Big D. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. 
to find help. What do you know about Crane anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I knew who put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Even if they're not there, the Tweedles' office might have something on Crane or the witch. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find it. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! Ah! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Hmm. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need sheriff. Huh. Well, I'm not welcome at Holly's bar, basically. I don't know if she'll have much to say about that, considering that she'd been shot. I could take my run in at Dee's office. I could kill two birds with one stone if I manage to kill one of the Tweedles at the office. He and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope I do too. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. What kind of dude I is this? I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, 
seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? Flycatcher, huh? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Did you make an appointment? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers if they're ready. Deliver to who? Hmm. I've never had any reason to see for Good myself. thing we came here then. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, sure thing. Thanks. No problem. I'm going to have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. Okay, let's see what's good. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. <sighs> Obviously. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I guess they have to be in their line of work. D always tells me you have to be assertive. They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh, yeah. All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, Flycatcher. You know about this? Uh, no. Interesting. We found a key in the cigar box. Now what else could we see? Aha. Let's see if they got a file on Crane. They do. Oh, they've got a file on Cinderella. Huh, funny. But what about beauty? Oh, we can see her debts. This is worse than I thought. Shit. And Faith. Who was our first victim that catalyzed this whole thing? Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment and the woodsman's place. Who's Brannigan? See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? Just stay out of this. I have work to do. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they help me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Who is Brannigan? The 
Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. Huh. All right, Crane's file. Ichabod Crane. Hey, what's up? He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Huh. Find anything? Not what I need. W what, is, what is she wrong about, then? Bro, just playing I'm on not. Twitch. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. This dude is wasting my time. Maybe? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but they're not part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. You're damn right. I, I, I didn't mean to... There's oh. more behind this file cabinet. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Damn, finally he's useful. Well, that key you found should work. Sneaky. Let's see it. Oh, bro, what if this dude knocks us out behind our backs? The hell is down here? <laughs> the Krusty Krab pizza wow. is the pizza for you and me. Okay, let's go snooping for the crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Heir of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Hmm. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane, or the witch he was using. Something. Yo, what up guys? So I'm currently live on Twitch right now, so if you want to come watch what I'm playing, then join me at twitch.tv slash Fabio Suave. Let's see what else there is. Butcher. Do they also have debts from the baker and the candlestick maker? JD. JD. Hey, book. This doesn't really tell us much. Didn't I already do this? Hey, Bigby. What? Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go. I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? Hmm. That would be... Thank you. Oh, 
We found Snow's her. hair. We found her hair. Snow White? Why? We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Green. This must be the witch Crane was using. Yep. I guess he and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. No. There's no address on it. So, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? I'll check in with the business office. Maybe there's a record of Auntie Green leaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Business office, this is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know where Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle Brothers? No address yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. Have you heard of her? No. I'll get Buskin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Hmm. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half ass being a complete windfall? You think this is tied to the murder? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Yeah. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane, you might find something there. All those bluebeards are missing. I'll leave it up to you. Uh, I better go to the trip trap because I trust Bluebeard. I'll go to the trip trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just, just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? I'll try. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Rigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Uh oh, who just came in? Hey, no, that's totally okay. That's fine. But if you want to join me on Twitch, then I can talk to you there a lot more. All right, we're at the trip trap. We only have 45 minutes? Damn. <laughs> it's locked. Ow! Dude, we got Jesus shot in the shoulder. I need to talk to Holly. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Oh, this dude's drunk as shit. Friend, what? Traveler, a weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. We tore this Thanks. dude's arm off and he's just letting us in the bar. Hey, what's up? I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? I think you've had drink. enough drinks. Weinhardt said you shouldn't mix. You it. think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you say? He's got a point. Brent, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but we won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. Certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? 
That was a shitty fucking send off for a yep. pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking a biggie now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Friend, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. <laughs> I'm too out Gotta of it to get into it. We're That's a good this one. Dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Am I yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. <laughs> and Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get all right. loaded with him. Here we go. To Holly and Lily. Okay. Salut. Was that so hard? All right, now help me. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? Get Bro. off my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. No, I also work. Mm, okay, I'll separate them. Guys, stop it. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. No, I'm oh, working. I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. <laughs> trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. Yeah, well, I, I don't have any alcohol. I didn't know nothing about it. And I never you usually know, do. I don't knew drink. Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Yeah, that is true. You did withhold. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this. Oh, yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk. But when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Hmm. We got to find this witch. Right. Where, where's her belongings? I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe uh, ogres too. Yeah, okay. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Yeah. What a fucking day. Grin won't remember this. <laughs> Yeah, he probably won't remember being nice to us. Okay, so this troll is out cold. Oh, we can try and wake her? No, we gotta look through the shit. So there's alcohol, there's the cot. Let's look at the cot. Oh, there we go, that's her shit. Oh no. Oh boy. Can I get that though? I could try to move her. Or tap her awake? That's not good. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. Ta-da. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a pic of her with all the girls. Uh oh. That you, Woody? Oh. Yep. Woody? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway. So you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Okay. So let's check out this pick. That is Faith, Marissa, and Holly, or Lily. Did you care about her at all? Of course she I did. She was a nice girl, ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Aha, uh -huh, the thing, the glamour tube. I guess I should check the address book. I don't book. know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. That's easy. Okay, address book. This has to be the important stuff. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish she could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, True. I guess I'll take your word for it. Okay, great. Did we get what we needed? Ah, shit. You're getting your glamour on this day. One of these has to be the witch. What was her name? There you go. AG. Gotcha. Let's listen. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Mm. Hello? Oh, it's a little girl. Hi. You woke me up. Sorry, sorry about that. Where's Crane? Who are you? Hey, Liz, sure? what's up? Who are you? Just so... I'm Big B. This is Snow. Nice to meet you. How do you do? 
Aw, oh, she's adorable. Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? Oh, no, I would never call my mommy that. <laughs> she treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Why are you saying that? Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? A crane. He could still be here. Hmm. Is that your mom? Uh-huh. Okay. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. She's pretty witty for a kid. Mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... Th that was found in the woods around Dix Mountain, I think. Dix Mountain, huh? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Ha! Huh. No accounting for taste. I think that this little girl is actually the witch we're looking for. No one's been over all... What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Mm hmm Yeah, she knows. Not here. There's no one here but me. There's no one here but her. No one's been here all night. Then she must be the witch. Where do you buy your cloak? Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Okay. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? Is that right? Deliver to Auntie, Auntie Green. Butcher. What's he, that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Hmm. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, Mommy. She tries. Yeah, well, Mommy's not here right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! Ooh. This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. You won't. Rachel, chill. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. It hurts when you do it there first. Easy. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit, non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. 
Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in hey, being turned into up? a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, free me. Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Well, you won't no, tell us. I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal weapons that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Yes. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... Okay, then... This ancient. Then help. Part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apart. Then help. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. And very different uh... means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? No. We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me. No one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. <laughs> I'm streaming on Twitch right now. I'm playing Big video games. Thing. This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah? Crane was here. Yeah. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of the spell. He knows it'll pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. But? It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Oh, so you wanna... Oh, shit, I should have made a choice. Okay, well, I guess I see where I fit. Ah! Uh, All right, let's go. I didn't want to do that. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. Damn it, I was too busy typing in my Twitch to a different chat. To make a decision. I wanted to burn the tree. Damn it. That came up on me too quickly. Damn TikTok. Alright, so now we're at the pudding and pie, right? Yeah, of course it is. Hey, Piff, dude, no, thanks so much for coming in. Hey. I don't think so, at least. Yeah, I'm loving it too so oh, far. Oh, give me a spot. Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Yep. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. That's worth a lick for sure. Guess what's gonna happen? You can't just go in there. We have a problem. He's I'm calling the Tweedles. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please, he can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I oh no. Be held accountable for this. Oh my God, beat me. Wait, don't. What do you mean, don't? Oh yeah. The, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get 
stupid ring working, that's all. I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. The ring leaves Soji out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I, I wouldn't did you. Yeah, they're under a spell for sure. <laughs> you pathetic, dirty man. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. Yeah, obviously too many. I didn't kill those women, Vicky. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's that was. I just. Uh huh. I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and uh, I'm sorry. I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Oof! You tell him, girl. That's facts. Bigby? Yeah. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not. Yeah. He wouldn't be brave enough. We've been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. Uh. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions that's one thing but don't you have doubts he's a murderer no you i think he's the murderer so i can't believe i'm hearing this did you see how he was acting when you showed up yes i know how this why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks this fuck up knows more than he's saying for I sure don't, i don't uh, yes okay he probably does but there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Mm, I don't know about all that. I would prefer Rod to kill Crane, him. you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to me, you'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenlee again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices, and Is you that won't right? be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the I did the best I could with what I had. Break his nose. Oh, God. If I were you, I'd keep that trap of yours shut. These poor girls. Oh man, what's happening next?
Hmm? Say which chest. It's the twins. Shit. Don't let him get away. Bro, he's running. Oh, he's there. That's his car. Oh, well, there's the twins. And who the hell is this? Hi. What you got there? Who is that? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How should I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. What do you want? That sack of flour. Crane, dear. It's Crane. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> Shut up. Up. Crane belongs to the Crooked Man. Official Fable Town business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the uh, you know that thing the Mundies call me? What? What? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. A bitch. Uh, bloody. Bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. Ah. And I do that. That's for a Bloody holiday. Mary. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Hey there. Ow. That's gonna leave a mark. Crane just fucking dipped. Oh, no, he's there. Bigby? Yo, what up, Alex? Oh, here we go. We're awakening the beast. We're going wolf mode. You guys just fucked with the big bad wolf. Let's see you try and pull that shit now. I've been pretty alright, man. Just playing some stuff on Twitch. Come watch. Uh, I can do this. I can do this. Bro, how much buckshot am I gonna take? Come on. What's the point of this quick time event? Just let me rip their faces off. <sighs> there we go. See, look, even their shotguns are shaking. What are we doing now? Oh, I'm killing that one. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. One for the road. Al, guess what? You're next. Oh, Bloody Mary wants this. Ooh. Am I gonna kill one of them? Kill him. There you go. There you go. There's one less Tweedle to deal with. They better not impen in impede in our investigations any longer. 
Ow. What, was that a silver bullet? Oh yeah, it's burning, seems like it. Just didn't know when to end. Sarah Garner, hey, thanks so much for following. It says subscribe, but I know it was just a follow. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. Uh, got to get up, get up, get up. No, 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 don't fail me, don't fail me, don't fail me. I am going hard on this button right now. I'm fingering the <laughs> shit out of this button right now. Uh, my wrist! No, 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 Why is it not letting me do it? Oh my god. Dude, that thing wanted me to fail. I think I just bypassed the game with my magic mic fingers. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Oh my god. Just stop, please. Dude. Yeah, I don't know. No. Don't do this. Why does she have the woodsman's axe? Oh shit, is that the crooked man? It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Huh. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stun. Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick up pig if his life depended. Foreigner, how's it going? <laughs> I miss you too. Nope. Busted. She just busted our arm. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Okay, Foreigner, see you there. Oh, and Narissa just saw the whole thing. Jesus, was that the end of the chapter? Oh my gosh, that was the end of the chapter. That was wild. That was a short one, actually. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. Yeah, it does. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. I don't give don't a shit. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> Again, you don't have much choice at this point, do oh, you? Man. Dude, this bloody Mary chick is something else. Yeah. I was. Okay, so 60% of us didn't interrupt Snow's eulogy. 32% of us went to the Tweedle's office first. 41% went to Ichabod's room. You never made it past episode three? Oh, well, you know what? I was going to play The Walking Dead after this, but I can do another episode of this. Uh, we offered Flycatcher a job. We didn't burn Greenleaf's tea, and 
Wow, that was a slim majority, but 53.6% of us did kill Tweedledum. Rightfully so. Oh. Man, this is just getting more and more intense. We now know that Crane is indebted to the Crooked Man, and Bloody Mary is ten times as worse as the dumb twins, uh, the Tweedles were. We kill the Tweedle, so now there's only Tweedle D. And, oh man, I just can't wait to see what happens next. But, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. Please leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me down, know down below in the comments what you think it'll ha what'll happen. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey there, Delilah, how's it going? You gotta come join us on Twitch, we're playing video games. And, uh, yes, her name is really Delilah. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for me. Hope to see you guys next time. Catch you later.